Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we got Buster and we're gonna be doing a big stick bait review. We got five brands of stick baits up here, but before we get into this video, make sure you are subscribed. This is our subscriber board. Make sure to help us bring that bubble right on up at 50 subscribers. We're gonna do a Dragonfly fishing lure challenge at 100 subscribers. My mom's gonna make us a mystery box. Added and at 150 subscribers, we're going to do even more six cents because y'all love that. And Buster is just being weird right now. If he would sit down, we'd be fine. Right now, we're at 41 subscribers, so get us to 50. And we're definitely going to try those dragonflies out. 2,500 subscribers. We're going to do a giveaway. So make sure you keep liking and sharing all these videos to everyone you know. And Buster, you need to get down. And we're going to get into this stick bait review. That's what it is. So first, we're going to grab these Gary Yamamoto Customs. These are the original Senko right here. This is the color we like to use. It's called Pumpkin. And this one's got a lot of flake in it. You can tell it's definitely a heavy stick bait. I've used some white ones before, but this is a heavy one. It's all orange, so that color works really good. I like how these sink. They have that this really good wobble, but... The worst part about these is they're kind of expensive and they rip really easily so sometimes you gotta cut them down a lot so it is helpful to get the six inches instead of like fives or fours so that you can use them more and more and more until they're ruined and the fall action is really good as y'all will see. the six cents clout 5.4s and this is becoming one of my new favorite stick baits a little lighter than the Cinco, and it's actually kind of it's longer than the other one that i just had out and it's still lighter this is that bluegrass magic color i really like this one doesn't have too much scent to it i don't think and it sinks pretty good had a couple of bites on it last night i was fishing a pond and if Corbin, you're watching this, thanks for letting me come to that pond. Ah! Got the bait of fish swimming in the background. The next bait is the Yum Dinger. I don't have much experience with these, but my dad does. He says he likes them, they're pretty good, and he would definitely get more. Now, this is maybe the cheapest, or not the cheapest, I'm not quite sure at the price range on these, but I'll pop it up on the screen for all of these. But this is the Yum Dinger. It's pretty heavy stick bait, heavier than the Cinco. Has a good fall action, has a lot of sparkle in it, if y'all can see that, because that sparkle just helps the fish find it. I think that's a two-tone bait. Not quite sure if it is or not, but yeah, it's a two-tone, like purple and green on it. But we'll get it. zone pro series lures i'm not quite sure where you get these how much they are but i was actually fishing out a pond and my buddy tiger king gave these to me these are like some pretty good ones and this 
June bug color I went blank on my colors for a minute and this is the color right here and what's really nice about these baits is we do wacky rig Cinco's a lot and it's got that perfect wacky rig spot right there so that anytime you want a wacky rig you got a perfect wacky rig unlike any other Cinco out there and it's called the five inch true center so it kind of has a good name for itself put it back in the pack real quick throw it up there and the last is the Bass Pro Shop Sticko Tournament Series. This is a not buy. It sinks just as quick as a turd and it sinks like a turd because it just has no action to it as y'all probably see. And I mean, it's a decent color. They're kind of like sticky for some reason. Not really much smell to them, I don't think. I mean, they got the color right, and you can catch fish on them, but don't try and take these to your favorite public lake or your least favorite public lake that's super pressured because chances are you're not catching me fish. We haven't tried to whack your rig them yet. They probably would be decent for that, but yeah, don't buy these if you're looking for a good bargain bait. Just buy the yums because they're probably the best deal that you'll get. And if you got the budget, definitely go with your... Gary Yamamoto's, Gary Yamamoto's or your Six Senses. Don't have any long logs yet. I'll definitely try those out. Maybe we'll do a V2 of this with more of them. But Bubbly Beta Fish is here. And if you like this video, make sure to like and share this video to everybody you know. Get us more subscribers. And make sure that red subscribe button is turned gray and you have a YouTube account because like 40 something percent of y'all aren't subscribed so we need more subscribers to help grow this channel more people will see this and peace